Hi, it's Charlie Minotta from Halfville.com. I'm in our office in sort of the corner where we keep our cigars, the, the humidor corner. And this is a problem. Uh, it looks like a great problem to have, but if you have about three or 400 cigars, what you'll end up realizing is that storing them in desktop humidors is just not very efficient. Desktop humidors are great, or some of them can be great. They look nice, some of them look nice, and they work well, or at least some of them do. But uh, take this, which is a Diamond Crown humidor. Um, it's relatively inexpensive as far as good quality, gonna last a lifetime style humidors go. But even this is a few hundred dollars and it does not even store a hundred cigars reasonably. So you're paying three, three dollars and change per cigar to store it in. And if you do the math at three or four hundred cigars, you can easily see that you would be running up into the thousands and then you would need space like this to store them all in which many people do not have. And so what some people turn to is that thing over there, hopefully you can see it, maybe I just blocked it, uh, which is a cabinet style humidor. And there's cabinet style humidors, these are cabinet style humidors, all around this room. And uh, those can work better. They're certainly better at storing boxes and they oftentimes end up being a little bit more efficient as far as that price per cigar goes but they aren't cheap. Uh, that unit back there is about $1,000 and that's just for the unit itself. You then need to add some electronic humidification. That's a few hundred dollars. And the other thing is that humidor doesn't actually work that well. A good uh, cabinet humidor like the ones we have here from Aristocrat, those are gonna be a couple thousand dollars at least. And then you have freight, you've got the electronic humidification. And at the end, it, it ends up being cheaper than the desktop humidors, but it doesn't end up being that much cheaper. And those units are massive. And so what a lot of people turn to is actually something that may not seem that intuitive, and it's this. So if you've ever been on a cigar forum, you have likely heard someone refer to something as a coolador, and that would be this. Now, technically, this is a Igloo 165 quart marine style cooler, but Brooks has transformed this into a coolador, the combination of the words cooler and humidor. And the idea is quite simple. It's a big, large sealed container, which is good at keeping humidity in, and it's relatively inexpensive. These tend to be about $100, $125. It's actually on sale right now at Sam's Club, or a very similar model is for $80. So compare that to the thousands of dollars for a cabinet style humidor or even the hundreds of dollars for a desktop humidor and you can see the bang for the buck is a lot better here. Now inside it's pretty simple you just got to rinse this out to get rid of the plastic smells that these come with and then just add some humidification. Brooks is using Boveda in here and then you just put your cigars inside of it and that's pretty much it. Um, the upside is, is very simplistic. These work quite well. They probably work better than a lot of desktop humidors do or wooden humidors because it seals better and you can just store tons and tons of cigars. The downside is that these things are massive and they're sort of hard to maneuver around because of how big they are both on the outside as well as if you ever have to go digging for cigars inside. If you have loose cigars running around here, they will likely get damaged because they'll fall to the bottom and they'll get crushed. And uh, increasingly, the other problem is, is that this is no longer the best bang for the buck solution. And in fact, if you look over there, you can see what's a little bit better. So oh, this is the product that I'm actually reviewing today it is the Iris 60 quart weather tight container. It's a big plastic bin. Now, before we get started, I do want to point out that um, you may notice that these do not look to be identical. They seemingly are. There's a few very minor cosmetic differences. These are the Ziploc versions, and they used to be sold under the Ziploc brand name. They were made by Iris. When you purchase them, they would show up in a big cardboard box that said Iris, but now it seems like they are now being sold under the Iris name. Uh, the minor differences are as follows. The Iris ones do not have a gigantic Ziploc sticker. The Ziploc ones have a Ziploc logo here, as well as here um, on the lid and on the handles. Uh, the Iris ones do not, they are plain. But otherwise, they seemingly are identical. And that means they're 15 to $20. It depends on when you buy them, if they're on sale, as well as the quantity. You can either buy them one at a time or in packs of four, which reduces the price. They are only sold, seemingly as far as I can tell, via Target and actually only on Target's online store. None of the retailers here in Dallas have them in the store. So you do need to order them online. And as the name implies, they are weather tight. What that refers to is this blue foam strip. So to open up the unit, you just take those six clamps, undo them, and then there's a lid, comes off. There's this piece of foam, which is uh, here to help provide a better seal. When it goes on here, and it gets clamped down, that pushes it down, helps to provide a much better seal than just the plastic on plastic seal would be. Um, as far as using them, they work pretty much just like those coolers. They're just a big sealed plastic bin and they also need to be set up just like the cooler. So you should take it, uh, you should put a little bit of dish soap in here and you're going to want to rinse it out to help get rid of the plastic smell that these do ship with. I would recommend doing that to both the lid as well as the unit. 
once you let them air dry, or I guess you can manually dry them if you really wanted to get started, uh, you just need to find your preferred humidity products. So um, I would recommend one of two things, either the portable two-way humidification products, that would be Bovida would be the, the sort of main product there, but Bovida's competitors, if you prefer them, whether it's RH Stay Fresh or something like Integra Boost, go for that. Or I would recommend humidity beads, uh, which I don't think we've reviewed here at Half Wheel, but there's a variety of people that sell humidor beads, look it up online. Um, you could also go with traditional florist foam. You could go with something like Cigar Oasis, which is an electronic humidifier. The one issue with the electronic humidifiers is gonna be when you go to move these, you're gonna to have to make sure that they're unplugged from the wall, as well as you're gonna run the risk that the water in the bottom of the humidor reservoirs will spill out. So that's why I would go with either beads or with bovidas. Um, but from there, you're good to go. Just start filling it up with cigars. And if you're wondering how many cigars can you fit in this bin, the answer is probably around 400 reasonably. I opened up two of the bins that we have here that were relatively full. And one of them had 315, 320 cigars. The other one had 380 cigars in them. That was just what was in there. That wasn't me trying to fill it up to the absolute maximum. It's very, very dependent, obviously, on the size of the cigars and then also on the size of the boxes. Because if you get boxes, say like a My Father limited edition box, those tend to be super thick and they waste a lot of space as far as trying to put as many cigars in here as possible. So the more efficient boxes, something like a Fuente 858 or the Padron boxes, uh, I'm guessing you probably can get 400 or so cigars in here. If you want to just fill this thing up, no boxes, 700 Robustos seems possible, um, to be quite honest, um, but I haven't really figured that out yet. Uh, but they're 60 quarts, so they're uh, over a third of the size of those big white coolers, but at 15 to 20 dollars, they are less uh, than a third of the price. So right off the bat, more bang for your buck. And they also work quite well. Uh, the seal has been great as far as cigar storage is concerned. I haven't done any long-term like scientific testing where we put sensor push devices in here and humidity log them. Here's what I can tell you. I did fill one of these things up with water when we got them to about here, closed the lid, turned it upside down, shook it around. There wasn't any water leaking out of it. So this lid, at least for that very brief test, seems to have survived. In terms of long-term testing, there are very few products that I've used as much as this. We have 30 or so of these in the office and we've been using them uh, for the better part of two years now and have not had any issues. These are far and away my favorite way to do bulk storage now. Uh, there are some major advantages, at least for me, over those big white coolers. The first one you can see immediately, which is that these are stackable, or at least designed to be stacked. So the feet here protrude outwards, and they interlock with the lids. Um, and so that allows you to create stacks. Now, if you're wondering how many of these can I stack on top of each other, uh, the units are rated at, or advertised as being capable of holding up to 50 pounds. I suspect that what that means is that when the lid is clamped, that when you go to pick it up, if there's 50 pounds in the bottom part, that it this part won't uh, fail, or at least that's what the manufacturer is going to claim. Certainly, there's more than 50 pounds of weight on the, the bottom unit right now, and we've stacked them as high as six of them. So, uh, you know, you can stack quite a few of them uh, and, uh, you know, just be careful, I guess. Uh, you'll also notice that we have uh, labeled these. So that one says Fuente Collections. This one is Caldwell Room 101 Collections, and this one is Flavored Cigars. And so this is, uh, you know, obviously a very simple thing to understand, but these things give you more flexibility than the cooler and at a cheaper price. So uh, that allows you to store cigars at different relative humidities if you wanna do that. Some people like to store Cuban cigars a little bit lower than they would non-Cuban cigars. And then obviously if you're storing flavored cigars, this gives you the option to put all your flavored cigars in one area, or I guess you could put them in multiple bins and you're not gonna have to worry about them interfering or infusing any of those flavors into other non-infused, non-flavored cigars. Um, as far as the fact that they are clear, I find this to be a big advantage because it means that I can look inside um, before opening up the units um, and see what boxes are in there. Obviously, we're kind of different in you know, what we're doing with these where they're all labeled on the outside. But um, you know, if you have a cooler, you can only see the boxes that are on that top row. And if you're looking for a specific cigar, um, these will be much better and easier, even though you'll have to look through two or three uh, you know, of the bins versus the, the big coolers because you're just not gonna have to worry about digging, you know, through it into to the bot absolute bottom of those coolers to find the cigar that you are looking for. Now, there are some disadvantages. Uh, interestingly enough, uh, there are minor disadvantages, but interestingly, I would recommend that when you go to buy these, you actually buy more than what you need because of both disadvantages. So we'll start with the, the more concerning one, I suppose, first, which is that, Sometimes these things show up damaged. 
So this is a relatively minor example of it. Um, here, the piece that holds uh, one of the clamps has broken off in transit. Um, this won't presumably really affect the performance of this in any noticeable way, so I don't plan on returning this one. But this one has this right here where it's cracked. Um, and uh, that's obviously a big issue because I can actually fit my finger, stick a little bit of my finger uh, into the crack right there. Um, and that will leak humidity. Uh, I'm sure with tape and some silicone, I could probably fix it, but uh, that's something that I'm gonna want to return. And uh, I can go to Target and return them locally. I don't have to ship them anywhere, but they obviously don't have any in stock. So the replacement's gonna have to get shipped to me and I run the risk that they show up damaged again. And that is a bit of an annoyance. I would say that about 20% of the units that we've purchased um, have been damaged. To give you an idea, we just bought 12 of these and two of them, these two uh, showed up damaged, but um, we've had some that have been critical and then we've had some that have been minor. The second um, negative is that Target is oftentimes out of stock and they actually are currently out of stock at least as of early July 2020. And so um, it seems like about half the time that I go to look for them they are out of stock. Uh, I would recommend you put your name down in the notify me when available box and then um, obviously when they're available. Uh, you know, click on the email. And once again, I'd recommend purchasing more than what you need um, because you never know when you'll need them again and they might be out of stock. That all being said, there are very few products that uh, we've ever reviewed that I would recommend as wholeheartedly as these Iris bins. They are great. Um, they've become our sort of go-to bulk storage humidification, replacing the coolers. We've actually put off purchasing a couple of the expensive cabinet humidors because these are just so much easier um, and so much cheaper. The flexibility that these give us and also the fact that they're 15 or 20 bucks versus a couple thousand dollars means that, you know, it's just so much easier. That being said, we are gonna buy some big cabinet humidors because I think people wanna see reviews of them, um, specifically some brands like Avalo and Vigilant. So uh, probably next year um, would be my guess about when those will be out. But uh, we do have reviews of other cabinet humidors, other humidors, cigar accessories, lighters, cutters, ashtrays, other things, and then obviously reviews of cigars. And all the news that you could possibly wanna read about the cigar industry is all on halfwheel.com.